In this video, we will learn how to easily join NumPy arrays. For that, we will be using the two methods that is concatenate and stack. Let's see them one by one with examples. To join two or more arrays in a single new array is what we call joining. So we can easily join two or more arrays in NumPy into a single array. Okay, for that we have these two methods concatenate as well as uh, stack methods. So to join uh, in SQL we use keys. Okay, but in case of NumPy we use the following two methods. Within stack we have five more methods stack, h stack, v stack, d stack and column stack. We will see them all one by one. But at first we will be beginning with joining using concatenate method. Let's start. So we will directly understand using an example that is how to join arrays with the concatenate method. Let us begin. Here we have our PyCharm ID. We have created a new project for our examples. So I'll right click, click new and click on Python file to create my first Python file. Type the name demo1. When I'll press enter it it will automatically add the .py extension because python file is by default selected. Here it is. So guys first we will join numpy arrays using the concatenate method. Let us import numpy first using import numpy as np. We have imported numpy and also and also created an alias so that we don't need to write numpy again and again. Now we will create two arrays. Let us create the first array object. n1 is equal to numpy that is np.array and within that we will add some elements. We added four elements. Now create the second array numpy.array. Add uh, elements. Let's say I added four elements again. Now let us iterate. For iterating we are using the for in loop for a in n1 now print a and it will print the entire array. Do the same for the second array n2 this will print the second array. Now let us join using the concatenate method for that I will be creating a new array that is this is the output array because obviously both of these arrays will get joined in a new array. Type np dot that is numpy dot concatenate and within that mention both the arrays you want to join that's it. Here in display the array that's it. This will print the array after joining. Go to file. Save all. Right click and run demo1. Now here is the output. First it printed both the arrays here. First and second. After that it joined it. You can see here is the first array and here is the second array. It joined both of them successfully. So guys we saw how we can easily join arrays using the concatenate method. We joined two arrays. Now let us see how we can join numpy arrays using the stack methods. The following are the methods through which we can easily join arrays. Let us see them one by one beginning with the stack method. With this function we can easily we can easily concatenate arrays but along a new axis. So we will pass a sequence of arrays we want to join to the stack method along the axis but if you won't uh, mention the axis it will be considered as zero. So let's see. Now we will join numpy arrays using the stack method that is the following. The first stack method that is stack only. For that import numpy as np. Now we need to create 
two new arrays and display them. For that, uh, we can go to the first example and copy the same arrays. Here it is. We we created two arrays and printed it. Here it is. Now, guys, what we need to do? We need to join them using the stack method. For that, create a new array. That is the output array. R E S A W -E R. And within NumPy, that is N P dot stack. Add both. N1 comma N2. So here and we won't mention X's. So it will by default uh, considered as X's is equal to zero. Now we will print the result after joining. File save all. This is fine now. Okay, file save all. Right click and run demo two. So here and you can see after joining, after joining, since the axis was by default zero, it displayed the output in a new array. This is two by four matrix. Okay, because it was axis is equal to zero here by default. But what if I'll type axis is equal to one? right click and uh, run demo 2 it will display the opposite that is 4 by 2 array so in this way guys you can easily work around numpy.stack method okay now guys we will see the h stack method to join numpy arrays this will stack along rows so let us see an example So now we will join arrays using the stack method that is that is h stack for that import numpy as np np is an alias now let us create two arrays i'll copy from here and i'll also display it here it is now guys we need to just concatenate using h stack for that create a new output array r e s a w r Use numpy dot h stack. Within that, we entered both the arrays we want to join. That's it. We need to print it. After joining, along rows that is h stack. Now that's it. Go to file, save all. right click and run demo 3 this will stack along rows after joining here it is array 1 array 2 and it and after joining it stacked along rows now guys we will see how we can stack along columns using the v stack method let us see an example So guys now we will join numpy arrays using the v stack method this will allow this will stack along columns for that import numpy and uh, create an alias now let us create two arrays i'll copy directly from here to save time so here we created two arrays n1 n2 and displayed them one by one and now we need to join the arrays for that type r e s a w r is equal to n p dot that is numpy dot v stack and within that mention the both the arrays you want to join what is this this is the output array we created the output will be displayed in this array so we will just print this array after joining along columns okay go to file save all save all right click and run demo 4 this is the first array and this is uh, this is the second array now after joining along columns the following array is visible that is the v stack method okay now we will see how to stack along depth 
depth means height that is to stack along depth we use the destack method in numpy let us uh, see an example here it is guys and now we will join numpy arrays using the h stack method for that import numpy and uh, create an alias let us copy both the arrays from here array 1 array 2 and we displayed them we will create a new array for the output resrr and within that we will use the destack method numpy.destack numpy.destack and within that mention both the arrays we want to join along depth that is stack along depth now the output is in resrr so we will print it RESRR ok now I will go to file save all right click and run demo 5 now here it is the first array the second array and after joining after joining using the h stack method it will stack along depth as shown here Now we will see the last example that is how to stack according to columns using the column underscore stack method in numpy. Let us see an example. So now we will join numpy arrays using the column stack method that will stack according to columns. So for that first import numpy and uh, first import numpy and uh, create an alias. Now create two arrays and print them. We are taking from here. Here it is, uh, two numpy arrays, and we printed them. That is, I treated them. Now I'll use resrr, a new output array. The output will get saved here. We will use numpy dot column underscore stack method to join. Type the arrays you want to join. That's it and uh, within that print after joining here and mention resrr that's it go to file save all right click and run demo 6 now here it is iterating array 1 then we iterated array 2 and after that we stacked uh, we stacked according to columns using the column underscore stack method ok so in this way guys we can easily work around joining numpy arrays using the concatenate and stack methods thank you for watching the video